Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, fix the base on your snowboard and wash your snowboard. I'm going to do it in two parts. So the first part is going to be how to basically fix your base. And so the, part, the things you need are basically a metal scraper, uh, you need your epoxy, and just a lighter, some sort of fire basically. And so for the epoxy, they come in two different colors, black and clear. And so basically if you have anything but a black base, you want to use the clear. So this base is actually a blue. It looks, it might look black on there, but it's actually a blue. So I'm, gonna, I'm using the clear base, the clear epoxy to do this, uh, to fill in the gouges. Okay, so before you start, you know, find something to put your snowboard on. I like using blocks and just put towels. But one trick is you want to make sure you loosen your binding screws before you start uh, waxing or doing anything with your snowboard because. Um, with the screws in there so tight it's pulling against the base of the board and so you don't want when you heat up the board you don't want that you know that pull from the screws so you want to loosen it loosen the screws up so it doesn't damage your board when you're heating up the board waxing it so this is a little trick so the first thing you want to do is basically just clean your clean the base off a little bit before you actually do your base repair so what i like to do is i like to use the metal scraper and just lightly bring it down the entire board to clean off any kind of dirt. See if you look at the board, there's all this dirt on here. So you just need to lightly scrape the, the base of the board so you can clean off any dirt. So the next thing you want to do after you clean your base off is uh, you can actually peat text your board. And so basically what this is, is you're just going to use epoxy, these sticks and you're going to fill any gouges you have in your board. Um, for this sake, for my demonstration, I don't, there's not any really big gouges in this board, but if there are, that's the ones you want to fill. These light scratches, you don't really need to fill, it's okay. So what you need, what you want to do is basically you're going to light up the P-Tex. Okay. You light the P-Tex up and let it heat up. And what you want to do is just let it drip over let it drip over your uh, your metal scraper. Let it heat it up first. And so to do this correctly, um, you basically don't want any you don't want any of this black stuff. If you can see that, so if you can see that black carbon, you don't want that on your board because it's going to obviously show up. So what you want to do is you want the flame to be blue. And what you want to do is actually rotate the P-Tex while you're kind of dribbling it onto your board. And that's how you'll get it to be all clear. So, so I got to get it off this first, all the black carbon that's on there already. Okay, so what you want to do so make sure the flame is blue. You're gonna drag it real slowly across the board. And drool the P-Tex on, onto your base to fill that gouge. Just like that. You just do this wherever you need to. So after you're done, just blow your P-Tex out and let it cool. Don't breathe the smoke. And give the P-Tex about 10 to 15 minutes to dry. And then you want to scrape it off. Okay, so it's been about 10 to 15 minutes and the P-Tex or epoxy is dried. Uh, so basically all you need to do now is just take your metal scraper and scrape it off. And so there's, you know, you can do it either way. You can either pull it this way or you can push. It doesn't matter which way you do it. Um, I like to pull, so I do it this way. So basically all you need to do is just put the, the metal scraper at like a 45 degree angle and then just go at it. And so basically, you want to keep doing this until until the until you scraped off enough of the P-Tex so your board is basically flat, so it's still not really flat. And so you'll see this stuff come off. So you just keep scraping away at it until your board is flat again. All right.
right, so after you basically make your, your board flat again, that's basically it for the, the base repair. So now moving on to how to access the 